right, as with all of my campground reviews, I always try to give a good drive in so you can kind of see what to expect as you pull in. So this is traveling east on Interstate 40. We get off at the Swannanoa exit number 59. And at the end of the ramp, you'll take a right. Now, something real important is that at the end of this ramp, if you were to take a left, you are right in a great place for a Walmart and grocery stores. So uh, when you get here, you're real close to a lot of things that, uh, that you may need. You don't have to drive so far. Uh, anyway, we've taken a right on this little two-lane road. If you do have a larger Class A, this is going to be um, not a tight road, but there are a number of people that park on the road or real close to the road, so you need to be mindful of those passenger side mirrors, especially when you're uh, facing some oncoming traffic. I think some of these places are rentals. Um, so it does get a little tight, uh, especially in a larger vehicle. It's real close, uh, maybe a mile uh, after you exit the interstate to the turnoff here coming up on the left. I will also mention that it is a pretty steep drive, um, both from the interstate uh, up this road and then when you get into the campground, it's pretty steep. As we climb this hill here, uh, there's going to be a switchback that goes back to your right. And then two, looks like two driveways, and you're going to take the left one. You'll see the, the mailboxes there on the left as we go straight ahead here. This is the entrance to Mama Gertie's and we will pass the entrance gate here that they don't lock at night so you don't worry need to worry about having a code um, this is the hold short line or the or the parking area where you can park and then go in and check in and then someone with a golf cart will come back out and lead you to your site all right this morning we're gonna run the trash down to the trash can and kind of walk around and do a little campground review as well so let's go all right let's drive in here we see the uh, here we see where you can check in that's the office up there it's got it's got some shirts and some stuff like that you know cokes a little, little bit of camping supplies but not much um, they do drive you to your campsite so you follow a motorized golf cart takes you up to your campsite they'll also deliver campfire uh, firewood to your site on the side are some restroom areas some sh laundry and also showers now there's a couple of roads here one kicks off to the right goes around then there's pull through spots on the right and then on the left there's a back end spot there you see that class C or class A I don't know And then other pull-through sites on the left just above the propane filling station now these are pull-through if you've got a big class a you're not coming through that you're gonna have to back up and go down that road that's pretty steep all right that's where we are site six down here in the bottom part but certainly protected from the wind from the sights that you can see way up there on the side of the hill those sites do have the better view but when it when wind is whipping whoo it is whipping up there so you can see here another plateau for you to park your RV a little bit better view than down here but again uh, up there in the wind over here is a dog park picnic tables fire ring horseshoe pit just a kind of a little play area all right so from the drone footage you can see the upper lots I won't lie it's a hike
also halfway up this little incline here is this uh, swinging chair that you can sit in and just really enjoy this absolutely beautiful view of this valley. So from over here you can see this other, this one spot where you can park. Then all these spots have that little shared deck over there that you get the view. Now up here, you can see the other side of these sites that have their own little private deck. Up top they also have a bathhouse and a laundry room so you don't have to walk all the way downstairs. Now up here you can see there's other spots over here to the right and then these spots on the side that have their own little deck that they can sit on that has this amazing view out here. Can you imagine that being your view every morning? The Wi-Fi here has been unbelievable. We've been able to stream movies on our Roku. We've got great internet, pretty fast to be able to stream movies. So you can see here, they've done a really good job of making sure that the entire park has Wi-Fi and really good Wi-Fi. You'll see these repeaters all over pointed in the direction of the parking areas. You'll see two or three back down that way. We had one right in front of our rig uh, in site six and that really gave us the ability to have some really, really good connection with our internet as well as the speeds here. We were able to stream movies on our Roku. So really pleased with that here. I did notice with our antenna up that we were not able to get any local channels. So we, we are about 15 miles from Asheville, so that kind of surprised me. But given the terrain of being kind of blocked into these mountains here, that doesn't make, uh, that's not too surprising. Overall, what do I think of Mama Gertie's? Definite, absolutely, you gotta stay here. 
absolutely awesome place. Every there's there's no permanent sites here, so every, there's no uh, there's no riffraff uh, like there are in some places like that. Um, this is just an absolutely fantastic campground. Very clean. Everything works, uh, and the sites are. I mean, the the location is just absolutely beautiful. So if you're coming through Asheville on Interstate 40, you might want to stop and give Mama Gertie's a try. So get out there, RV. Have fun with your friends. Make sure you make it to church on Sunday.